Hello and welcome to New Parenting Training. So today I got a portable car fridge. This is called Bodega. Yeah, it's suitable for DC 12 volt or 24 volt and 60 watts. This thing has three stage of battery protection system prevent vehicle run out of battery. So this is, you can plug into your car. It won't drain your battery. Dual compartments with individual temperature control. Nice. So needed to say this thing is quite powerful as a portable fridge. So anyway, today I'm going to unbox and then test it out. I think this is really suitable for parents with newborns and if you want to go on day trips and this can store the breast milk as needed. Here is the fridge. Uh, this is what they call the sky blue version. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh, there's one more box inside here. All right, so we're in this box. You have all the necessary cables. There's charging cables and also a manual instruction. So the compartment here is pretty simple. And there's a drink plug down there as well. So, okay, let me go try it out. Oh, there's even a USB uh, port here on top. So this is quite neat and it's a pretty good build from the look of it as well. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, so let's talk about this fridge. Well, for one thing, it's the cooling power is actually pretty impressive. When I first plugged into the wall socket, it was starting at the 77 Fahrenheit. I was looking for my mic for a while, so when I came back in about like 10 minutes or so, it dropped down to like 43. So the cooling power is really good. Like and now it's like really cool inside. Haven't put anything in there yet. And here is a drink button. So if you ever need to clean this, now do not submerge this into water. But if you have like liquid inside here, use that drink puck to uh, undrink all the water. And use a damp cloth to wipe everything down if they are dirty, if it's dirty inside. I'm gonna show you how much it can fit. Uh, this is a pretty decent size uh, cooler and there's a latch locking mechanism once it's latched on you can't really open it until you press on the button now some of the key feature here now you have the on off button uh, you press it and then it turns on you press it for more than three seconds it turns off the next button is the setting so initial setting here is for the max so once you turn the refrigerator on it will run the maximum uh, efficiency and but if you press again it go into the eco which is uh, use less power so you kind of get a drill how that works now if you long press it now you see that H if you press again it's going down to L and then to M now okay so what that does is if you have the default setting is at H means high now if you use this in the car without the engine on, meaning that you are drawing power from the car battery, H is to kind of prevent you to draw too much power from the battery. So that will prevent you from, uh, you are unable to restart your car when you want to. Now for the M and L, if you are using a generator, if you plug this into a generator, then use M and L. So that way it will uh, continue to draw power, but it will not be as limited as to the car battery. Now the next couple buttons uh, is the plus and minus sign. Now obviously you can adjust the, the temperature. And then next you have the lock button. So if you long press it, then it goes into lock mode. Then you cannot change any setting without unlocking it first. All right, so lastly is this USB port. So once you are plug this into your car or generator or at home uh, into a power source, then you can actually use this to charge your phone or tablet or other devices as well. So this fridge actually comes with an app. Within the user menu, there are barcodes where you can scan using your phone, either your Android phone or your Apple phone. And once you scan it, it will lead you to the App Store or the Play Store to download the app itself. Once you have downloaded it, then you can pair it up with this fridge once you have done so, you can control everything that is listed 
on top of this manual setting here on your app. So one thing I want to mention is that this thing it runs on Fahrenheit, default is Fahrenheit, uh, but it can run in Celsius. Now for the like of me, I cannot figure out how to change it on the control panel here to change it to Celsius. Now, but on the app, it's just one button that you hit and then it will just change to the Celsius. All right, so let's talk about this bodega car refrigerator. It's really good. The interior size is 18 liter. You can put in a quite a bit of stuff. I put in 24 cans of soda and then 12 bottles of 12 ounces water. They all fit in there with some room left. So this thing can hold a lot of drinks. Not only this bodega is a car refrigerator, but it's a portable freezer as well. So you can actually lower this to minus four degree. Now granted, during my testing, it never gone down to minus four degree Fahrenheit with all the stuff packed inside. But what I can tell you is when it got to 20 degree Fahrenheit, things in there start get freeze up. So it is a portable freezer. <laughs> this is really a great product if you take it out for camping, long distance driving, tailgating, go out for a barbecue, you name it, it can do all those things to keep your food and your drinks cool. Another great thing about this, it comes with two separate cords. You can plug it inside your home with a just regular electric outlet, or you can plug into the cigarette lighter outlet in your car so this thing can work both ways now we have an suv at home and so once i plug it in the cable is long enough to go all the way to the back of the trunk so you don't have to worry about the cable length and also a lot of newer cars or trucks there's a cigarette lighter outlet in the trunk as well so you can actually store this bodega in your trunk with no issues. And another great thing about this product is it comes with an app. Like I said, you put this bodega in the trunk, right? So if you want to do any type of controlling of the temperature, all you have to do, just do it in the front with your phone and that's it. It's really trouble free. Now those are the great thing about this bodega. Some of the things I found it kind of annoying or dislike is the fact that the refrigeration, the freezer, capability they work they work really well but it does require a little bit of assistance as i mentioned before when there's nothing inside the temperature drop really quickly but when you start putting warm thing or room temperature things the temperature will not drop that quick so in my test i tried to just put the room temperature cans soda and the water inside and the temperature just dropped really really slowly or not even moving in the first one hour that took a really long time then i realized okay this is a cooler so any cooler if you want to put things inside and keep it cool you need to put some ice so i end up putting frozen bottle water inside and then later on i'm putting the ice cubes from our freezer and now the temperature start to drop and drop quite rapidly as well so just bear that in mind when you are putting drinks inside just layer ice on top that will make sure the temperature inside was consistently getting lower and lower and then keep your food and drinks fresh anyway this is my review of this bodega 12 volt car refrigerator portable freezer if you have any questions comment down below until next time Bye.